today's topic, the boys over at Fresh and Fit decided to stop screaming. Period. And uh, posted something on their community page as an apology. Fresh and Fit, we apologize to our supporters. From this point forward, we are not going to engage in any beef. We are here to help you guys navigate women, fitness, and finances, not drama. We're going to keep giving you guys the content you subscribe for. We apologize for deviating, but we are back on track. Men already get attacked enough in the space, and we are not going to contribute to it. Best of luck to Ab and Preach in their future endeavors. See you guys tonight for a fresh and fit after hours. What do you think about their apology? They apologize to their supporters. He didn't apologize to me or my wife or my country. Later that same evening. Real quick, guys, okay? Because uh, I know this is probably on everyone's minds. We already got 6,000 plus live viewers. So thank you so much for coming in. Only in four uh, minutes. Yeah, only, yeah, <laughs> seriously, within four minutes. So guys, we'll go talk about this real fast. <laughs> on this podcast, we talk about accountability, okay? Yeah. And we are not above taking accountability. And I'm going to tell you guys right now, we made a mistake, okay? It is not cool to insult a man's country and or wife live on air we should have kept the disagreement on the topic and not the people yep okay smart people discuss ideas stupid people discuss people and we made a mistake all right so with that said we apologize okay for talking about his wife his country and making ad hominem attacks on them their fellow youtubers if we have disagreements we're gonna have disagreements but the way we went about it was not right okay yeah so we got to hold ourselves accountable as well and from this point forward, we're bearing the hatchet. We wish the best to and preach. Yeah, the best, man. We're going to keep making content, giving you guys what you want, and we're going to stay away from the drama. That being said, the boxing, you got our number. Hit us up on the side. You know where we're at. We're in Miami, so let's do it. Yeah. You didn't even do that. You proposed a fight, talked shit. Then when the person accepted, you're like, I'll bring $500,000. I offered you $20,000 to just show up. Win or lose, you were going to get paid. I'll hand you the check beforehand. And you still cowered out talking about, no, we need to get promoters and all these guys think everything is about money. This ain't about money. And I'm going to say this to you guys. I don't play with violence. That's why you've never heard me and Preach come on here and say we would fight some people. You've never heard me and Preach go here. With, we would start some stuff. Because where we come from, we understand that's a real thing. You don't play with violence. You don't threaten violence. You don't encourage it. It's not something you take willy-nilly. Because do it with the wrong people and you'll get called for it. Y'all were the ones talking crazy. About, I'll box any of these guys. I'll do it. I'll do it. And I'll be both y'all niggas up too. Dumb, dumb, if we really want to talk dumb, about that. God you guys want to fucking box? I'll box both you motherfuckers too. Fuck out of here, man. You guys were the one talking crazy. And that's how I know you guys are soft. You talked all that craziness trying to act out. Oh, hold me back. Hold me. Nobody's holding you back. Preach said he would take both of you guys because he feels some type of way. And you still got nothing to say. Hey, and Preach, I guarantee your, your wife is probably ugly. I said it. <laughs> yo, you gave her a ring pop and you licked her at your fucking wedding. We should, we should fly her you up, bro. Weirdo. Hey, yo. We should fly her up. Guarantee her. <laughs> Flew <it> out. <laughs> you may kiss the bride, this dumbass nigga. <laughs> I love you. I love you. <laughs> You're making them dumbass ways. <laughs> we fucking help guys make money. We help guys get in shape. We help men improve. What the fuck are Thanks. you dumbass niggas doing behind your shitty ass? Road shotgun, Mike. <laughs> Yo, chat. Put a video. one in the chat if you agree with us. Yo, real talk, man. That? Y'all niggas, I could tell you niggas stink from the fucking video I'm watching right now. Y'all be sweating in the fucking studio. <laughs> and y'all standing mad awkwardly Yo. close to each other, talking to that shitty ass Mike. Hey, what's your take on this preach? I don't know. <laughs> the fuck, man? You got one niggas in the chat. Niggas sound like Clifford, bro. You got one in the chat. <laughs> oh, God damn. Y'all don't want it with us. We will roast you Yo, guys. Shout out to the Fresh Fit fan, by the way. You guys are not as charismatic as us. Yeah. You guys repeated it multiple times when you thought you were on top, right? Because y'all got more views, right? So you better and all that stuff. When you got the more power, the perceived perception of that. You want to talk all crazy. And now all of a sudden, when you realize that power is not there, now you want to act a little bit humbled. It's too late now. You want to see someone's character, give them power, and then watch how they treat the less fortunate. And you go understand how they move. Y'all never see me talk to somebody with low subscribers like they're like they're trash or they're riffraff. Never. I've never done that. I do IG lives every day. Every day people show up. And I have long conversations. I don't care. Because it's not about that. But these guys, you see what they're about. And now they want to charge $2,000 for courses, meet and greets, all this other nonsense while they're lying and faking their whole lifestyle. Nah. I got people in my DMs, other creators that like, maybe we handle this behind. Why would I handle it behind the scenes? You think I want to have a one-on-one -on -one conversation with somebody who doesn't believe in the things that they're saying? You were loud about it. 
Why do I have to be private? You were loud about this, all of this. You were loud about me. You were loud about my wife. You were loud about my country. You were loud about bro- boxing. I didn't bring this. You did. You were loud about it. You handled it in would, public? Why would I do it in private? There you why? go. There you you go. brought that. There you go. You brought, when you open your mouth. Go ahead. When you open your mouth, there's consequence to the open your mouth like that. That's what real men do. What did you say? You said I was 40? Exactly. Back in my day, you could open with that. You could open your mouth like that and say stuff like that to people because it might happen. You can't do that. In prison, you can't talk shit like that. If you talk shit about the guard, they're going to ask you to do something about it. Now you were extra loud. Extra, extra loud. You want to talk loud and be extra, extra? Be real about it. There's always going to be a motherfucker that's going to be realer than you. Always. Hmm. Know that. You want to do this? I was right here. I'm still here. You know what they said? Oh, I'm going to be here, here. You know what they said? They said, why would we do a two versus one? That doesn't make sense. No, I'm going to take one bitch and the other bitch. (laughs) You guys are two bitches. Twin sisters. That's your new name. Not fresh and fit. Twin sisters. Let's go. These guys turned, changed their tune once they saw subscribers going down. That's how you know they lack principle. They're so caught up in numbers. They changed what they said. They deleted their videos. They deleted everything, right? Just because they lost subscribers. Mm-hmm. You want to stand behind a man? You want to call us who out? Who only that. stands behind numbers? Yo, how long have we been at 1.38 for? The past three fucking months? Yeah. It is what it is. Who cares? We haven't it grown is, that much. It is what it is. Does it matter? Not really. It didn't matter when we had 300K. It didn't matter when we are 69K. Y'all notice the outro still says 69K because it's all the same. That's, that's the worst part. Our outro. We never changed the outro. Look at the fucking outro. It says 60 whatever now. You know what kills me? You know what kills me? People mad. Well, why would you make the video in the first place? Y'all ain't got nothing to say when we cover Skippy or any other individual and we go at it like that. Then it's these dudes. They invited you in their home. No, they begged us to come on a podcast with them. Don't get it twisted. We're got, not friends. I got the we receipts. We didn't text. I got the okay? receipts. And I hold everyone accountable. If you say something crazy online, I'm not going to call you in private, okay? Unless it's a private matter. They publicly said some stupid shit. So we said, let's dissect that stupid stuff. But now, because it's your hero, oh, Abba, or like Two Faced. What's Two Faced? I went on that podcast and I went right to Myron's face because he was talking crazy on another podcast. You know what I told him? Why were you saying that stuff? He started stuttering. I don't remember calling you blue pilled beta. Uh. Specifically, you felt like we were kind of blue pilled, right? Uh, I don't remember. What, what show? What show was this one? I remember cr- very, very well because that episode I was very careful of what I said because it gets you watched it. That episode I was very careful of what I said because it gets you watched it. So I, I just want to ask you about that. Why do you think I'm, I'm, I might be blue pilled? Um, well, from what I remember, I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying to remember. I would say, uh, blue like. Hmm. I'm trying to I'm trying to think like what which video was it was the I'm, one I'm, I'm trying to remember I said I quoted it right to his face even even the goofy fresh boy he was like oh Abba came with the smoke I also find it funny that? that he came with the smoke the idea that I wouldn't come to people and confront them about things they say are you guys mad hmm but don't ever come out here talking all this stuff just say you're a fanboy and you can't help simp for them i'm not mad at it everyone when i was a kid batman was magic everyone's like superman's better i said fuck no even though superman got laser beam coming out of his eyes it's obvious he's better but i get it you know what i mean that's that's batman clark kent what superman's stupid stupid character definitely better stronger but he's stupid agreed i'm not a fan of clark kent that's like Come on, B. But he's still stronger. Yeah, but if he's not, he's not wise enough to use it. Goku's not the strongest character because he's stupid. I mean, Goku's pretty weak, but that's a different story. That's it is. Different. We got we got some nerd shit. So if they say some more dumb stuff in the future, we're gonna cover it the same way we covered Skippy, the same way we covered Amanda Seals, the same way we covered anybody. I like Phil DeFranco. Phil DeFranco said some dumb shit. We covered it. Period. It, it ain't Two Face. All right. So you all do you. We got more videos of y'all we're going to react to. We're going to keep deconstructing the stupid shit y'all say. And if y'all want to stop watching, stop watching. I don't care. Tell us what you guys think. Do you guys agree with their apology? Disagree with us in the way we're handling it? We'll listen to everybody. I'll also be on IG in a little bit, so y'all can tell us what you You'll think. be on IG in a little bit? We can do that. Cool. I'll be, on, uh, I'll be in Miami next week.
conectar.